The Hydrocarbon Pollution Remediation Project HYPREP was commissioned in 2017 following UNAP's recommendations in 2001. The first assignment of HYPREP is the Ogoni cleanup after many years of pollution by international oil companies. <laughs> With complaints of slow pace of work on the cleanup in times past, Ogoni people had moved to stop the exercise without success. But about six months ago, an environmentalist, Professor Nena Barini Zabe, was appointed as the project coordinator. And for a while, there had been no protest over HYPREP's activities. <laughs> On Tuesday, the 22nd of November 2023, some youth groups evaded the premises of High Prep in Port Harcourt, disrupting official activities for some hours. This first group of protesters alleged a compromise of the UNEP's report. However, other groups staged a counter protest in solidarity with High Prep. There are facts of monumental corruption going on in High Prep under this current leadership. Right now, he has done his best to ensure that we meet up the articulated demand of the project. We will not want to accept any other person coming here to protest again. To ascertain the basis of these allegations, we set out on a fact-finding mission to some of the over 100 remediation and restoration project sites that were handed over to contractors over three months ago. High Preps coordinator, Professor Nene Barizabe, responds to the allegations and gives an update on ongoing projects. Ogoni is like a construction site. Currently, we have 14 water projects we are constructing. Um, those 14 water schemes will reticulate 52 communities in Ogoni land. We are training 5,000 youths in Ogoni land in 20 uh, livelihood skills areas. Again, we are also training over 2,000 workers at the moment on International Maritime Organization IMO 1 and 2 certificates. The next 10 days, um, the shoreline cleanup will start. Next, we embark on a journey to this project site at Ogoni to see things for ourselves. Here are over 40 lots of polluted land contracted out for remediation and restoration by High Prep. We meet active work going on at the different remediation sites in Ogali, Ileme, LGA and other communities. We also visit the Livelihood Training Center at Ipo, the completed and ongoing portable water project site, the Center of Excellence. So you can see I'm taking the water, it is portable, mm. good quality for the community. We thank Almighty God, we thank President Buhari, we thank President Bola Tinubu. I also thank you for your cooperation. Thank you very much. What is the impression of members of these communities, especially the youths, on the ongoing cleanup? So far, the community are okay with the procedure and there is full community participation and so there is, isn't anything that's happening here that the community is not aware or not involved. On arrival at one of the major project sites, which is the Center of Excellence, we saw work ongoing. However, the site supervisor declines to speak on camera but says the project will be delivered on a great deadline. So right behind me is the Center of Excellence. It is meant to be an environmental research center being established by the Hydrocarbon Pollution Remediation Project, High Prep. It is part of the over 100 project handed over to contractors over three months ago. Well, as you can see, it seems like work is in progress in most of the sites. We will surely keep a track on it because the aim of the cleanup exercise is not just to clean up, but to also restore the livelihood of Ogoni people who suffered pollution due to exploration by the multinational companies. From Bori, Kana, local government area in River State, Deborah Balama, Channels Television News.